Hi, Glenn Phillips here with Lake Homes Realty and lakehomes.com. So thinking of selling your lake home? Today I want to say, don't buy the lake home you already own. Does that sound kind of weird? Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. A lot of people do behaviors where no one else buys the lake home you've put for sale, which means essentially you put it on the market, you still have it, congratulations, you bought your own lake home back. Okay, there wasn't a transaction, but who owns it when your sale process is over or when you give up? You do. You bought it. So, today I want to give you some tips of how not to buy the lake home you already own. So, first off, we want to think about overpricing for the current market. Don't do it. And here's some phrases we hear across the country, not just our agents, but other agents I talk with, that gives an idea that the seller of a lake home is about to buy their own lake home. Here's one of them what I've got in it. Well, you know, I've got this much in it. Well, when you bought it, did you ask the, the person how much they had put into it? No, you wouldn't know what the current market was and what was its value. What would the, if you're getting a mortgage, which often isn't done, like, what does it appraise for? It doesn't appraise for what's put into it. It appraises for what it's worth on the market. So what you've got in it, ignore that. It does not matter if you're selling. I used to be an agent. You know what? You may have even been a great agent, but if you've been out of the game for a while, technology, market, market demand, where buyers are coming from, how to, how to sell these things is drastically changed. And if you were an agent in a different part of the country, I've traveled all over the country to all sorts of real estate markets, urban, rural. I tell you what, how things work in different parts, the rules aren't even the same, not just for operating as an agent, but even the sales and marketing mechanisms until you go on a national scale. So you may have some expertise, but I hope it will give you some empathy and understanding of, what, of why you've hired an agent to help you sell your lake home. Another one is, well, my friend said, you know, I love our friends, we love our family, same thing, but if they were such an expert, why didn't you hire them? And if you say, well, they're not a real estate, they're not a licensed real estate agent, well, then can they really be that much of an expert? They're really smart people who are not experts at everything and I appreciate you respect them, but if your friend was great at this, they'd be doing it and making lots of money. Another one, well, I read on the internet, which includes saying, I saw what my house is worth according to this website or that website. Even those websites will tell you at the lake, if you dig down in their data, they actually revealed they're not good at pricing homes at the lake. There's too many variables. They even admit it. So just because you've read on the internet doesn't mean it's true. Same thing goes for lots of other stuff, but particularly on what is a lake home worth. Um, another one we hear is, well, my neighbor's house sold for, or my neighbor's house is listed for, and then you compare it to your house. You know what? If there's enough of these transactions, there, that becomes the comparable market. But don't ignore all of them. You can't look at one that sold for a whole bunch of money and go, well, if they are sold for that, I can get it. Maybe, maybe not. But if it's an outlier, you need to understand it's an outlier. Lightning may not strike twice between their house and your house as well. And then the, another phrase we hear is, well, I need this much. This often isn't brought up to an agent, but if you're saying, well, gosh, I need this much so I can go pay this off or buy this or get my next house, what you need has nothing to do with the value a buyer sees in your house. They're not here to help you feel good about what you can buy next. So don't overprice for the current market. And you can rely on an, a real estate agent familiar with lake real estate to help pin this down. Another tip on how not to buy your own lake home is failing to counter every offer. We hear tales of people going, well, that offer was so low, I'm not even gonna bother counter. You know what? That says I'm going to stop discussing because I'm personally offended. Well, this isn't personal. It's a business transaction. These buyers don't know you. It's not personal. They are making an offer, counter it. Make them stop talking or say no or walk away, but at least give them a number to work with. Even if it's not, if, if you don't like their offer, counter. It may be the same number you have as your list price, but if it's been on the market a while, my guess is your list price is guiding you towards buying your own home. So think about what these are. And don't consume something's a lowball offer it, if it actually is consistent with the current market and you're way overpriced. They're not lowballing you, they're realistic. Will you join them or will you buy your own lake home? Back. And last one is have a mindset. Don't be looking to conquer, looking to find success. Do you really want to sell this house? And if so, 
pay attention to the current market, the current pricing, use a lake agent who knows how to market this locally and across the country, and look for ways to find a way to make a deal happen instead of it's your way and I won at the closing table. Uh, this doesn't mean that you have to fold on anything. Good negotiators often win a lot more than they lose, but in the end they're looking for success for everybody. And if you can follow these tips, you'll increase the odds that you don't buy your own lake home when you put it for sale. I hope this is helpful. Uh, our licensed agents across the country that you can find on lakehomes.com can help you guide through the process and understand how to price your home appropriately to get it sold and still get you the maximum amount uh, of your investment back for your lake home. Hope this video has been helpful. We have lots of others online and as well as tens of thousands of homes for sale where the, whether you're looking to buy or compare what's in your market right now. Thank you and have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.